All right, welcome. This is Jason Vandergrant, the CEO of JCAD Inc. And today I'm making a video quickly of how to install eDrawing step by step because we work with a lot of clients and some people get stuck installing eDrawings. And that's fine. It's it's uh it might sound a little intimidating that you need to install software, but it literally takes just a few seconds and clicking on the right things. So uh, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do that. And the reason I made it is because uh, when we work with clients, if you hired us to, de to design your product idea, to turn your idea into reality, um, after a few days, so let's say you hired us a few days ago, uh, or maybe about a week ago, a few days after you hire us, we're going to send you an email that looks just like this. So your 3D CAD file, Please see attached to your 3D file for review. There are two options to review it. Number one is eDrawings Viewer, see and, and see installation instructions below here. Number two is Autodesk Viewer. Click here to use it online. Uh, you will need to set up a free account, which only takes a few seconds. So there's two options to review your file that we create for you. And um, like I said, we need to turn your, uh, your idea into a 3D CAD file because we need a 3D CAD file to 3D print a prototype to manufacture things, to make molds, to injection mold, to do mass production. any Not only us, anybody in the world is going to need that 3D CAD file. Any company that's going to do anything for you is going to need a 3D CAD file of your design. Um, so that's why, that's where we start. So, like I said, after a few days you hire us, we're going to send you an email like this. Your CAD file is going to be attached to it, kind of like this. And then you're going to walk through these, these steps, simple steps, to be able to see your CAD file. So, um, there's, like I said, there's two options. Most people, myself included, most clients say eDrawings is just a lot easier to use and Autodesk Viewer is a little, a little difficult, but uh, let's look at Autodesk Viewer just to show you what it looks like. So it's click here to use it online. It's an online, you don't have to install anything. That's the beauty, but it's not as good as eDrawings. You're gonna see a screen like this and up here you're gonna see sign up for free. So you click on that, name, email, password, agree, create the account. And then you're going to be able to sign in after that. So I'm just going to sign in because I already have an account. And then once you're in, uh, you're not going to have anything here. I already have a part in it, but you're going to have an empty library here because you haven't uploaded anything yet. So like I said, in this email, you're going to have a file. You're going to have an eDrawings file and a step file. Uh, you're going to download the step file. The step file is for Autodesk Viewer. So you're going to click on Upload New File. You're going to find that step file that we sent you, and you're going to upload it. And then you're going to be able to open it just like this. And it's going to you're going to see a 3D file. So this is a replica of the 3D file that we're working on uh, for you, right? Well, not obviously not this file. This is just an example, but it, you're going to see exactly what we see on our computers on our CAD software. So this is just a viewer of that. And down at the bottom of the screen, there's different options. There's a measure tool. I don't know if you can see it, but there's some options at the bottom. And so you can see this is 25 inches. And this is where you're going to measure your part and make sure everything's okay. So you might say, you know, this is 25 inches. You're going to reply to this email with your changes that you want. You're going to say, hey, you know, I measured across and it's 25 inches. I actually wanted it 28 inches. Can you extend it by three inches? Sure. You know, that's one thing to do. And then you're going to measure this and you're going to say, uh, it's 40 inches. Actually, I wanted it 30 inches. So can you shrink that by 10 inches? And you're going to measure all these things. Maybe these things are too small, too big. You're going to check out, inspect your part and make sure everything's okay. And I'm not going to go through all this stuff at the bottom or any of these features because they're pretty easy to figure out on your own. Uh, this is just a video that shows you how to view your file. So that's Autodesk Viewer. Now let's get to uh, eDrawings. And then you can see, so the same email you're going to get says click here to watch a short video showing you how to install eDrawings and how to use Autodesk Viewer. So that's this video, that literally this video that you're watching right now. You're going to click on that. It's going to walk you through the steps of how to uh, install. So now let's go down here. So for the design process, we use a free software called eDrawings or Autodesk Viewer, which are really easy to install and both are really easy to use. We already looked at Autodesk Viewer. So now here's a link to click here to install eDrawings Viewer, which allows you to view your design in 3D on your PC, which is Windows or Mac, iPhone or Android. And I don't recommend installing it on a phone because iPhone or Android, because it's difficult. It's kind of a complex software and it's difficult to do things on your phone. So I would recommend more a laptop or computer, Windows or a MacBook or a tablet. Even tablets are okay, but anything except for a phone. So you're going to click here. It's going to open this page and you're going to also see the same thing down here. So here's, if, please follow the steps below. 
uh, here's the steps to in, in, install eDrawings. So you're going to see that this is circled in the middle, right? Oop, sorry, let me just close this. Uh, you're going to see this. So you're going to install eDrawings Viewer, not eDrawings Professional, not eDrawings Publisher, which also it says here, the middle row, middle, middle column. Uh, and I'm Windows, so I'm going to click on this. If you're Mac, click on Mac. Windows, and then the next step says eDrawings Viewer only, and next. So here we are, eDrawings Viewer only, next. The next step says select eDrawings Viewer and click download. So eDrawings Viewer, it's already clicked, and click download. And then just agree to the terms. It's pretty standard. Agree and continue. And now it's going to download uh, the eDrawings file, which will show up in, uh, I can delete this, which shows up in your downloads folder, right? So now that that's downloaded, let's see what it says here. After the file has downloaded, open it to install it on your computer or laptop and walk through the installation process. So uh, here it is. I'm going to double click it to open it. And it's going to ask, is this okay to make changes to your device? Yes. And then just click Next. Some people get stuck here. This is another reason I'm making this video. A lot of people call and they ask what the license key is. There is no license key. You just say Next and Install. And then here, um, you can uncheck this. You don't have to check for updates every 30 days, but you can launch it. You might as well launch it. So finish. And now eDrawings is going to open on its own. And so here's eDrawings. Let me just shrink the window so you can see it. So this is eDrawings. And like I said, in the email, you're going to have an eDrawings file attached to it. You're going to have a step file, which is, again, for Autodesk Viewer, and then the eDrawings file, which is obviously for eDrawings. So you're going to download that, download that file, and once it's downloaded, you can open it up. It's in the downloaded area. So I'm going to open up this eDrawings file, and you can see it's just another 3D viewer. So you can see this bottle that we designed for another client in 3D. And down here, there's a bunch of features. You can uh, section the thing in different axes. axes. Uh, there's a measure tool. Same thing as Autodesk Viewer, you can measure different things and make sure everything is to size. Um, there's all kinds of features up here. I'm not going to go through all these features because in another video, which I'll link below this video, uh, is another walkthrough. It's a two-minute video I made really quick of just showing what every single feature is, all these features down here and all these features up here, that will help you learn how to use eDrawings. eDrawings is really easy, so don't be intimidated at all. It's really easy to figure out. So just watch that two-minute video and it shows you how to how to do everything, how to measure, make sure everything's okay, what you need to know basically. And then you can reply to this email saying, hey, you know, it looks great. I just want to make these few changes here. This is a little too thick. This is a little too thin. This is too tall, too, too small, whatever it is. And we'll make all those changes for you. So, and also you can see uh, at the bottom of the email, it, it says the measure tool. And then uh, before we make a prototype, we ask our clients to measure their design and e-drawings and make sure all dimensions are correct using the measure tool, which is in the bottom left corner of the e-drawings viewer screen right there. Um, here's a video on how to use the measure tool. Click here, which is the same video I'm linking below this video. So you can click it from here or below this video, and you can learn how to use the measure tool and how to use e-drawings in general. Uh, so that's hopefully that helps you walk through the steps of installing eDrawing. Some people get stuck, some people don't. So if you get stuck, you can watch this video. And that's why it's a video so that if you, if let's say you're going along with this video and something goes wrong, just rewind it a bit and see what happens. See what you clicked on that wasn't correct. And then correct it and then walk through the process of installing it. So again, I walk through it in this video, but also the steps are here. If you don't feel like watching the video, you can just follow these steps in the email. And that should get you right to the end where we are right now. All right, hopefully that helps. Thanks.